So we're doing a, an eight fast. So we're starting here with uh, methylated spirits, which will help with the coupling of the gel to improve our image on the ultrasound. We place the patient in right lateral recumbency. You don't have to clip, but clipping does help. And I'll talk you through an ultrasound. So there's four sites. This is a diaphragmatic hepatic, then the splenorenal site. So that's our splenorenal site. Then we have the cystocolic site. And then underneath here we have the hepatorenal site. So when you assess for the different areas, you're looking for fluid. Fluid is seen as black irregular shapes in between organ structures. If fluid is present, if a small amount's present, then maybe you can give a 0.5 score. If a lot of fluid is present, then you can give it a one. So overall, you could do one, 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 and that's four points. It means it's a lot of fluid in there. Um, or if it's small amounts, it's 0.5 and then one, 1.5 overall. Starting in the diaphragmatic hepatic side. So under the xiphoid process here, we adjust the depth so that what we're looking at fills the screen. And what we're looking for is any fluid in between the liver lobes any fluid between the liver lobes or between the diaphragm and the liver. And then you fan side to side and we're not seeing any fluid there. We also then scan to the gallbladder and the gallbladder appears intact, no free fluid around there. So that's zero. And this also, this shot here also rules out pericardial effusion. So if his heart, if he had a pericardial fusion, you wouldn't be able to see that, or at least you'd see fluid, and then you'd see the heart. So zero for that particular area. Splenorenal site. So off the lateral body wall or close to the lateral body wall and we want to find our kidney. Kidney of you decrease the depth so the kidney fills the screen and we will fan around the cranial aspects of the kidney and this is our spleen. So this is the this is the kidney, this is the spleen and and fan back and forward around the kidney and the spleen area here, looking for free fluid. There's no free fluid there, there's no structures there. There's no black triangles. There's no fluid in between those structures. So the splenorenal site is zero as well. then come across to the cystocolic site, running along the cranial aspects of the bladder. So this is the bladder here, black is fluid. And what we're looking for is any fluid around the edges of the bladder in the cystocolic pouch. So the colon, it's colon full fluid underneath. There's no free fluid. So we're looking in at a score of zero. Then the hepatorenal side is actually quite deep and up and under the patient. I'm going to tilt and rock him to you a little bit and I'll get up underneath there. Okay, cool. Rock him back down now. So, up and we'll increase the depth here until we find what we're looking for. What we have there is the kidney and the liver and there's no free fluid around there, so fan around. Mm -hmm. 
Then the fifth view, this is what they call the bonus view, is the umbilical view. So you put the probe in the umbilicus, and then you can tilt down into the hepatorenal view, as sometimes fluid accumulates down, and if you push too hard here, what happens is fluid moves away from the probe as you push in. But there's no fluid around there as well when you tilt down into the dependent areas. So here's a score of zero, 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 so no free fluid.